Well, here we are, our next investigation. Okay, so explain the area. Okay, well this is part of O'Connor Township. And over here where that white cross sits, there used to be a, a small Catholic church that you know, was for some of the residents way back. You know, you know O'Connor Township is, is over 100 years old okay. itself. I'm not sure how how big how old the church was, but it was sat about 30 people or so in the neighborhood, you know, from the community and such. And behind the church, as in most churches, is the cemetery. Is uh, the cemetery. So again, Catholic church, Catholic people. Right. Um, in the 1990s, the Vatican. Because the church was abandoned and not being used anymore, they 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 asked for it to be torn down. So the Vatican ordered that torn down. Some bodies were removed from what from what I heard. Some bodies were taken from here and moved to other Catholic, you know, cemeteries. But some people are still here. So they still got people lying around. Yeah, you know, you can see some of the the headstones and things like that. Uh, you got some more up in the trees. There, there, there's some white crosses. All right. Yeah. Lady Kelly, why don't you take a little wander and have a look around, take a take a few shots of what's going on and keep it rolling. Away you go. Mm -hmm. Mm, that one up there is broken. Yeah. That one looks broken. This, well, maybe this one does. Yeah. This stone has so. Oh, look at that. There's flowers here. Very nice flowers, though. Huh. There's Person another one. Like Youngin. Yeah. I want to get up closer to that bigger cross. Yeah. Look at them all. A little bit uneasy. Um. I feel, I feel like some of them are a bit disturbed, like restless, but not angry or anything, just not at rest. I, I don't feel any anger in the area. It could be that, like, they're probably not that happy about the church building to be on, or just, you know, some of the bodies have, that have been brought might have been family and or friends of theirs. Yeah, what I'm thinking is some of the graves here might be uh, related to some of the graves that were moved, and now that the families have been separated or loved ones have been separated, that uh, they're a bit more upset about that, or... They just aren't happy with that, but like I said, I don't feel any anger or anything. I just feel like disrupted, like they're not at rest. Went, could, could have just like you know passed on, and the others that they haven't passed on are like a little upset about that too. Mm -hmm. Could have been like a, a cute few type of um, possibilities here, why they're not feeling at ease with the situation they're in. Which yeah. could be anything at this point. I'm gonna climb up here a little bit more. Let's see, there's one or a couple way up here. Yeah, there's one even higher. Right there.
That big cross on the tree. Looks like it was in the ground but got pulled up. Hmm. Some of these people haven't had visitors in such a long time. I don't think many of them have at all, if any, for years. Kind of sad. So we'll meet back up with the other two. Bad that like there's such decay and like that cross is t taken down and like falling apart. of it, these are the, the last people that were buried here. Uh, the fa Father Anton, who was born in 1892, buried here in 1973. His wife, Mary, was born in 1891, buried here in 1950. So he, you know, survived for another 23 years before he was laid to rest here. The white crosses represent other known graves. But as to who's buried there, the records have been lost, so they don't know. All they know is that there's somebody there. There's a possibility now others laid to rest here, but where, again, unknown, unknown because the records for that have been lost. Uh, I noticed there's a cross, one of the white crosses there is broken, that cross is taken apart. Uh, the stone one up there has uh, blue flowers, where this one has pinkish flowers. Yeah. And I was wondering if you had anything about the big white cross on the tree. Uh, I think the big wh white cross is to designate this as hallowed ground and part of the, the Catholic uh, property. That does make sense. Yeah, as in like the cross that's where the church used to stand is over there showing that where the church is. So this symbolizes the graves and that symbolizes where the church stands. Uh, the broken cross could just be from snowfall, animal, natural causes. Because mm -hmm. uh, out here, not too many people mess yeah. with grave sites. So. Uh, I didn't think it was someone ruining the grave site. Yeah. I figured it was worth mentioning. Oh yeah, uh, like I said, it could just, you know, it could Natural. be, uh, yeah. But as you can see, like, it's all grown in and things mm -hmm. like that. And it's not maintained very well. The Mayer family, I recognize the last name of being a family in O'Connor, but I don't know any of the people themselves. Okay, so, like I was saying, I'm not feeling much anger. It's not overly active, but there is something I feel. And what I'm thinking is, like I said, it was restless, disturbed. I'm thinking once we come back, we talk to them a bit, they get their stories out, have one last conversation kind of a thing. It'll probably, probably be what they need to pass on. Get those back to us, say what the name is. Is it Mary? Mary Lowen. Really? Yeah. Okay. Earlier, you know, getting great chills over here. And you said that, you know, you saw Mary here. Right. You know, before. So I was feeling chills there. Not as much over here. But then when you said, you know, now when I say Mary Moen, I get chills again. Okay. So. I found a spot for you. You found a spot for me? Yeah. In here. There's an infant buried here. Where is it? Five months old. Oh, that's sad. Leonard Coppin Senate. October 1938. Yeah. Big and chill right here. I mean, I'm cold. So somebody obviously came by after it's been broken yeah. and lifted it back up. Let me put it back. Could have been, you know, somebody else visiting another day. Wow, I, I chilled right here. I didn't notice that when I came up here originally. Can I re say what you just said? <laughs> okay, there's a broken marker here, and I am feeling a lot of something. It's not the same chill as I got from Leonard, but another massive coldness. Right here. Yeah. Everywhere here I feel unrested but not bad. But up here by this this cross and that broken marker, yeah. it's heavy, and it's hard really to breathe. Marker. It's 
and I can't make out anything on it. I am going to switch and I'm going to come up here. I'll put you want the yeah, I'll put you by the flowers and Tristan can have the cross. Unless you want to take over where the church was. Uh, we're probably going to be rotating. Yeah. Um, Actually, I want to walk over to where the church cross is and see what I feel there. Okay. So, the grass is a lot longer here. Definitely not taken care of. I was informed this cross is where the front doors were. Look at this. Look at how, like, long this grass is. Like, it's... It is huge. Should be close enough. Um, if they want to get closer, they can. I'm not feeling it. No, I have to get a bit closer. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Feeling something. Just gotta chill. Yeah, I was told this was the uh, this is the front. Over there was the back. Um, and where we were a little while ago was the courtyard. I feel a sense of disappointment. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think I feel disappointment here. Ooh. I just thought of something else that I... I feel like there was something dirty that happened. Let's see if we can catch that on film. Okay, I'm going back. Let's see what it's... Uh, on my way! See if they can pick up anything. Oh, so let everybody just say, I know this is bra, my brother. Hey. Uh, Clay and I were talking and everything and uh, talked with the rest of the group. And uh, I was wondering if you'd want to be a permanent member of the group and be part of our team. I'd be more than happy to. Unbelievable song. Yes, definitely. Welcome right. to Seabass. Huh? Welcome to Seabass. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. And his color is going to be blue. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So this is where we're coming on our next investigation. There's a lot of unmarked graves, so there's going to be lots of restless spirits. Hopefully we can connect with them and help them tell their stories so that they can move on and rest in peace. Uh, there are a lot of other people here that are unmarked. So, we'll get to it, and we'll talk to you soon.